When you, when you fight Ahsoka Tano with a metal pole and survive, you deserve to come out on our stage. Also, if you're making your debut in a brand new Star Wars series, you also deserve to be on our stage. From the new Disney Plus series, Ahsoka, please welcome Diana Lee Inosanto and Ivana Sakno. celebration, I yes. can tell by your yes. face. Yeah. It's uh, incredible. You guys look amazing. Yes, you do. Look at this. I mean, you guys are beautiful. This is incredible. The energy, just incredible. Whew. So happy to have you here. So happy to have all of you here, too. <laughs> all right. Ivana, I'm going to put you in the hot, hot seat right out of the gate. I know. I know you're new here, but I've got to ask. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your character in Ahsoka? Yeah, absolutely, as much as Dave Filoni allows today. <laughs> but um, That's the answer we're getting a lot today. I, <laughs> Secrecy. I, yeah, always. But I, I play Shin Hati, and Shin is a young apprentice to Balin Skull, who you just met on stage, and um, she is very ambitious, um, quite intense, and an incredibly skilled um, lightsaber um, user. I mean, she's incredibly skilled in lightsaber combat. She's a force wielder, and um, you know, I really want you guys to be able to discover her, but I hope that within her as being Dave's creation, her humanity can expand our understanding of that darkness within someone, and once again, the reason behind it. And it's been incredible to see Dave's ability to, to expand that understanding of not just lightness and dark being two sides of one story, but the spectrum that it's on and what comes in between that. So. And the complexity in a single character, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Well said. Diana, we've met Morgan Elsbeth. I have some feelings about Morgan Elsbeth. <laughs> but we won't get into that right now. <laughs> What's it been like continuing her journey from The Mandalorian, where we first met her, to now Ahsoka the series? What's it like continuing her journey? Oh my gosh. Well, first I want to say, when I first did Mandalorian in season two, I didn't even know she had a name. I just knew that she was the magistrate. So when it aired, I was stunned when I heard Rosario say, Morgan Elspeth, I'm like, I have a name, you know? And everybody was making a big deal like, about Grogu, but I'm like, I'm looking at my husband, I have a name. But being able to continue on this journey on Ahsoka, um, it, it, it's just an honor. And you know, what I love is we're gonna explore a lot about her background, which I am very, very excited. Um, I will tell you that, um, Yes, she's cold-hearted, but uh, she's absolutely very loyal and dedicated to Grand Admiral Thrawn. And it is, yeah, and it is unwavering, her loyalty. So there's a lot of exciting stuff that will be coming out, for sure. Yeah, for sure, All right? Awesome. Now you mentioned Morgan's background. But also your background, I think, comes into play a little bit with this role. Uh, Star Wars has often drawn parallels to martial arts, but what has your experience brought to your portrayal of the character? Ah, well, um, for anybody here that does martial arts, I mean, it's something that is part of my heritage and my culture. My, my father's Danny Osanto, and, and my godfather's the late Bruce Lee. And so it is wild because when I first saw Star Wars, when I, I was 11 years old, 
I remember this moment of watching it with all these fans in Aspen, Colorado, because my dad was doing an international martial arts camp. And by the end of the movie, to see, just like here, this rock concert of people standing up out of their chairs and, and just screaming. I had never experienced that kind of electricity in a room. And I don't think I still have it until today with all of you. Your electricity here, this is amazing. This is, this is incredible, this fellowship of good will and joy. And we, and we all know that Star Wars is about hope, and you guys are absolutely reflecting that. So coming back to the martial arts, yeah, uh, my father, when I was a little girl, then immediately was so inspired, he went and bought these plastic telescope looking lightsabers. But to me, the lightsabers were the real deal in my heart as a child. And he started training me right away with two lightsabers. And it's so crazy. We flash forward to when I did Mandalorian season two and had my fight scene with Rosario that that would play into my future. That is just crazy. So yeah. So there you have it. it. Little did you know you were getting ready for the role already. What's that? Little did you know you were getting ready for the role already. Oh uh, yeah. As a yeah. child. Yeah. Ivana, how has being part of Star Wars changed your perspective on the franchise and on the saga? You know, I didn't have the joy of having Star Wars be part of my childhood. So I became familiar with it along with becoming part of this project. But as I, as I started discovering the story, I did so with childlike exuberance and obsessiveness really and I did so with really the thanks to my friends who had the, that experience growing up and I was able to see and understand what it meant to them growing up with Star Wars and for me I, I became completely in love with it and it became my world the way that it translates itself you know the force translates into the flow of the universe and how that translates into the lessons that come along with it. So it means, it means a great deal to be part of it. And Dave, you know, I don't have to even explain to you guys what Star Wars mean to him and that really placates itself into the entire crew. So it's, it's, been, it's been the joy of a lifetime to be part of it, really. Welcome to the Star Wars family. We are so happy to have you here. I know somebody from behind you just shouted that same thing. I'm just gonna echo it for the crowd. What has been the most surreal part of entering this world, of working on this project? What has been the most surreal part? Oh my gosh. Well, I, I think it's just when you get to work with such creative people like John and Dave, that alone is so surreal because before as a fan watching Clone Wars with my kids and uh, to see them in, in person and you know, there to direct us, there to put their input into these characters and to explain those gaps where maybe I might have had questions. I mean, that in itself, I'm going, wow, I'm really working with Dave Filoni and John Favreau. I mean, this is insane. And, and to see Rosario come to life as Ahsoka, oh my gosh, you know, to, to see that this has been manifested and look at it now, we, we have this beautiful show. Um, it's, that's just crazy, you know, crazy good. <laughs> crazy crazy good. in the best way, crazy in the best way. Avada, what's been most surreal for you? I mean, I, as the way that you speak of Rosario, I wanna also, I, I want to confirm and say the same heartfelt thank you to you because you've been such a, mentor to me on set you oh, carry gosh. such warmth and kindness and really it's it's been it's been such a pleasure you really are a gift to okay, this okay i'm going to start to show. cry here but I, <laughs> listen it, I, I i can Lars and, and Ray can confirm this, all of us. We have this bond of the baddies. Yeah. We are the bond of the yeah. baddies. And we really, like my nickname for her is Heart and Soul because she thank was you. the heart and soul thank on the set. You. Yeah. But yeah. Thank you. The, yeah. You know, the, as um, Diana said, the surreal part of it really has been working with John Favreau and Dave Filoni. You know, they are 
they're the perfect leaders and collaborators and Dave is a genius. He is, he is imaginative and childlike and supportive and wise and being, being part of his world makes you, reminds you of why you want to do it in the first place along with seeing all of you guys, because you're the reason why the show exists. And, you know, Dave, I know, speaks to the child in our hearts. And, yeah, and seeing you is, it's meaningful and it's very surreal, truly. Well, I know Ahsoka is for sure one of our most anticipated shows collectively in this room. I think, I think we, it's all safe to say that, yes. I can't wait to see what you all have in store. Thank you so much for stopping by. More from Star Wars Celebration coming up in just a moment.